Welcome to Swinger University, your horizontal enrichment program. Taking you back to those experimental years. Here are your hosts, Ed and Phoebe. Hi, this is Ed. And this is Phoebe. Today we are talking about erotica in all its forms and where you can find it. Erotica is incredibly important in the female world since 90% of us use our imagination to get aroused. Now, I'm going to say that I like reading dirty stories, too. Uh, yeah, you do. I find them incredibly stimulating. I know. That's when I first found out about dirty stories, dirty stories. was you were reading them. My browser history. Yeah. <laughs> The only dirty stories I grew up with were those romance novels with, you know, the the men with the long hair and the, you the, know. The Fabio. The covers. Fabios, yeah. Bodice rippers, as they call them. Yes, yes, yes. We yeah. would, we the, the girls would pass them, those books around. They were, the pages were so tattered. And I remember we'd sit in math class and we'd, <laughs> so dumb, we'd, we'd tip, like the teacher did now, we'd tip the the math book up like we're reading it like a novel right meanwhile the the smaller book is inside well who reads a math book like that right it's not like nobody yeah <laughs> so of course looking back the teacher's like um put the book away you know and then we'd be like oh what do you mean like the math book i don't understand and then he'd come over and he'd try to confiscate it and yeah all that stuff it was hilarious it was great Good times, junior high. Woo! I had discovered a book. Um, it's funny because my parents had bought the books for me. They were medieval kind of knights in shining armor kind of fantasy books, more like Conan, not like oh, magic, yeah. but more like knights during the the, the dark ages and the the crusades, which were, I mean, a horrible period of time. Mm -hmm. But the stories were really interesting, and um, the main character. Falcon was um, well. He, he he was very talented with with the ladies, and so oh. there were there were pretty extensive sections of the books where he what? he like had his way with the women, and they oh. enjoyed his his ministrations. Did your parents know that these? No, parts were I don't there? think they had any idea that that was in there. <laughs> I had them all dog eared and stuff because I'd reread those sections over and over again. It was awesome. <sighs> That's great. I love, I loved reading those books when I was a teenager. They were fabulous. Things you can get away with. I know. And now, you know, it's kind of sad as we're, we're in May is masturbation month and, and getting back to, to, to things that, you know, maybe we haven't done before. Changing scenery, changing positions, trying different toys, right. trying, you know, new things, getting out of the rut. And we've all just gone for the quick fix of porn right right we've kind of gotten away from all the other fun audio and literature things that are out there which is what we're going to talk about today right yeah so it, along that that whole theme of mayus masturbation month and um trying new positions like all of us have been masturbating forever and you know you always do the same thing every time because it works because it's, cause it's <laughs> effective but, um, yeah, there's the school of thought of change it up, try something different, explore yeah. your own personal solo sexuality yes. in, in different ways. So mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about something as an alternative to video porn. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the things that do, 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 do. do. I forgot the rest of the words. Let's it's talk good. about sex. Erotica, in the broad sense, is literary or artistic work that deals with subject matter that is erotic, sexually stimulating, or arousing, but not considered pornographic. And according to a study done by OMG, yes. And the Kinsey Institute, 90% of women use their imaginations to get aroused. We had talked about that earlier when we first opened up. So in light of all this, we've combined 
the internet for your erotic listening, reading pleasure, and some viewing pleasure. So we scoured the internet, we gathered all this cool stuff for you all to, uh, to, to, to explore. Right. And we're going to like, we have a list. We have a list of like uh, 11 of them. Cool things to masturbate to. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. That's going to be fabulous. All right, so here we go. What's the first one? Quinn. Uh, Quinn is audio erotica for women. Uh, the YouTube of audio porn, where you get to be the star of the show instead of the voyeur. Mm-hmm. And I never thought of it that way. When they said that, I was like... Oh, yeah, because you really get to be in that spot. Yeah, because mentally you you're pic- you can picture yourself in a situation if you just got the, the audio cues, right? Like mm-hmm. you're hearing the story. You, you don't have a picture in front of you. So what do you do? You well, you have to imagine what it is. Yourself. <laughs> I always insert myself <laughs> into those situations anyway. Uh-huh. So, like I can picture that. Uh-huh. This, so this, this website, you can, well, as a listener, you can also submit your own content and you can read their erotic fantasies and stories and the sexy audio that they have is, is phenomenal. There's all kinds. They've got masturbation sessions, guided masturbation sessions, narrated scenes, erotic sounds of people having sex. That would be terrible. It's amazing. You can choose between raunchy or sensuous. You can choose between male or female or female, female or male, male, et cetera, et cetera. Any kind of combination that, that, you know, tickles your fancy. They've got dirty talk, domination, like all of it. And and all are rated with this cool fire sign for your preference of, you know, if you want maybe soft and sweet, you know, or you want just hot and dirty. Nice. Nice. I mean, I'm, I'm remembering a lot of the experiences that we've had, especially at like hotel parties and the sounds coming through the wall. So the, the whole audio stimulation, like... I can't see it. I have no idea what they look mm-hmm. like, but I can hear them mm-hmm. and I'm picturing what it looks like. And it looks great in mm-hmm. my head. Um, so I can imagine <laughs> these stories being, being a lot of fun. And uh, we've, we've spent several evenings with our ears to the walls after, after events, listening to all the people mm-hmm. bang headboards and have a good time. Very nice. We're just walking down the hallway and you hear yeah, <laughs> and- the rhythmic thumping and here's Phoebe and... up against the wall my ear pressed to the door while you know the, the other people that were like trolling the, the halls with trying to find a party they're like get away from the door what are you doing I'm like I am listening you gotta come over here are you yeah. hearing this this is great like come over here enjoy and, and I can neither confirm nor deny that we have knocked on doors mm-hmm. when we've heard a lot of really good action <laughs> uh-huh. uh, to to ask if they needed a a third an assist. And fourth. Yes. <laughs> um, and, and we have been taken up on that offer yeah, uh, on occasion. Have. I know. And people have done the same to us. And we, we were so glad they did it because we had such a good time. It was like, all right, come on in. We're like, it's Christmas. Yay. Santa just came. Woo-hoo. This is way better than Amazon. I'm just telling you. They oh, just, yeah. They delivered right to your door. <laughs> exactly. So good. All right. This is another one of my favorites. Literatica. Um, it's literature and erotica kind of squished together uh free erotic fiction and fantasy 100 percent original sex stories from a variety of authors um it's broken down by category it's broken down by um series you can find stories based on all kinds of different criteria i can't um, believe it's free it's it's crazy pretty cool yeah. It's pretty cool stuff. There's a bunch of free stuff in here that we're going to talk about. I, I was really surprised that some of these people are not making money on their stuff. And, and I suspect a lot of this stuff is free. For, for example, Literatica. Um, the, the written word in terms of how much space it takes up on computer hard drives. I know I'm getting I'm getting super geeky for a second. Ruh-roh. 
the bandwidth that these companies need in terms of hosting mm-hmm. the content is pretty small in comparison to something that's like hosting audio mm. or video, which yeah. sucks up tremendous amounts of bandwidth. And your hosting company or, or your host provider charges usually by how much traffic, how much bandwidth they have to pay for but as to a host your writer, stuff. Writer, how do you get money for it? That's what I'm talking about. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you, you yeah, you're just talking about the, yeah, the endorsement. I'm not, some just got to throw my shit up there for free. But some people just enjoy getting their kinky thoughts out on paper. Oh. And knowing that other people are getting their kinky thoughts out on the thing that they wrote. You know, it'd be hot as if I'm laying in bed and there's a guy behind a old secretary desk with a pe- old piece of paper and a, a quill and some ink. Uh-huh. He's sitting there and some, some, you know, n- not our normal dress, but you know, you like a peasant shirt or something. Yes, like yes, the peasant shirt and the boots. The, yes, 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 very yes. Outlander. He's, yes. And he's writing erotica and he's, as he's writing, he's, is he, is he recording what we're doing in the bed in front of him? Like he's scribing. Oh, this is just me and him. I don't know where. Oh, oh, I see. So he's, he's just writing a story and Uh what are you doing while he's writing a story? Yes. Or I start doing things and then he starts to write it, but he's speaking it as he's writing it. Oh, so he's narrating your solo masturbation scene. Uh Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He starts it, but then I start to, yeah. Oh, this is a good. Oh, see, this would be a good see, little. Now, there's a story for somebody to write. Ding. We we want credit though in the the yes. byline there. Yes. Okay, this one's interesting. Go for this one. Dipsy, or I say Dipsia, but it sounds better if you say Dipsy. But it's Dipsy. Dipsy. Yeah. Dipsy. D i s p s e a. It's the first sensual audio storytelling platform for women's sexual well-being, co-founded by women to help other women tap into their inner sexual power and awaken their most confident, invigorated selves. Each story is 10 to 25 minutes long, and 50% of their characters are voiced by people of color, and over 25% of their stories are queer. Sex is communicative and pleasure doesn't sound performed. It's flirty and romantic. They have some off limit hookups as they describe it, some threesomes and even some BDSM. They also have these wellness sessions that are designed to support listeners with meditation, erotic breath work, some dirty talk lessons, etc., oh. etc. Et Right? Yeah, people so, could learn from that. I know. It's got everything. So I I was like, what? I had no idea all this stuff was out there. So I, I my gosh, the next three months are going to be just going through every one of these websites. Yeah. Just yeah. N- like knit, like in depth. Sure. At least for the next month. I mean, I've been in them, but like I have to really get in them because there's so much. I, I just when you said dirty talk, I'm I'm just picturing the the really bad dirty talk that I've seen in like movies and stuff where it's like, do me in my my wet hole. Oh my god! <laughs> what? No, this is the good stuff. I, well, no, I'm I'm imagining how many people could like actually use some lessons so that it oh. doesn't come out yeah awkward and. Right. Almost anatomical. Yeah. Um, I just say, lick it. Yeah. Suck it. it let's be, it. let's be a little educational Twist about it. this too. Besides just this, a lot of times, one of the best Fuck pieces it. of advice. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Like that with dirty talk is to just describe what they're doing to you. So don't, don't invent something. Don't like make stuff up, but just right. literally describe it like, Oh my God, it feels so good as you're sliding into me. <laughs> oh, it's rubbing my clit just right. Oh, so should I do that with you then? You, Would you, you like you can, that part? You can do that to me all day, honey. Mm, see, I haven't tried that side of it. Like describing what's going on to me. Usually I describe, a scenario that we've been in 
yeah, before. That, that doesn't that do always anything oh, for me at all. Does ever, amazing things about for you. the couple that we were mm-hmm. with and the things we did. I know. <laughs> okay, changing the subject. Um, <laughs> the next one, the number one five. That we skipped actually was one what? called Sugar Cunt. <gasps> oh yeah. So. Uh, Sex writer, toy reviews, kink, erotica, and more. So maybe mm-hmm. you can describe a little bit more about this because the notes are a little... Yeah, they're a little thin. She's she's amazing. She's been uh, writing for, for quite a while. And she's she's also has a lot of articles on, as she said in her words, fat shaming. Oh. So it it really starts to, to bring in... <laughs> you know that sexual you know we're all sexual creatures we all deserve pleasure we all have desires and you know she's again trying to normalize sexuality make it okay for everyone right so she writes a lot uh, about that and other things and does all these great toy reviews um so i would you know check her out too don't discount her she's fabulous very cool Mm -hmm, mm-hmm mm-hmm Okay, so now we're down to number five because I skipped that one. <laughs> Sorry, sugar cunt. Love her name. Audio Desires, which is erotic audio stories for women and couples. So again, along the same line as all the other stuff, but this is more designed towards couples. Fun. Mm-hmm. So are these, are these stories that people are reading or are they acting them out? I do not know. Okay. So it's their audio stories. We'll just leave it at that. Yes. Yes. We have to explore some of these. So some of these we've found, but we haven't delved into them deeply. Well, yes. And, and, and there, some of them, you know, require payment. So some I paid up front. I'm like, hell yeah. Here's the credit card. <laughs> but others I'm like, mm, I might, you know, come back to that one later because I've got so much that I want to dive into for the other ones that I already paid for. Right. So, and then the free ones. So I kind of had to m- meter my erotic excitement. Appetite. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the other one is an app. Actually, the next two are apps. One is called MJoy and the other one is Furly. MJoy is female based. It's a wellness app uh, specialized in female pleasure and sexual wellness. They have guided practices and erotic stories. And, and to be clear, it's E M J O Y. Yes. Thanks for spelling that out. Because sometimes they do some f- funny. Yeah. Like that could have been a J O I. Yes. But it wasn't. It's a J O Y. Yes. And Furly, which is F E R L Y is similar to mjoy they are mindful and guided practices on building intimacy confidence meditation practice body confidence and sex practices so those are also very fun to kind of just check out they're they're a little being being in the swinging lifestyle for you know eight to almost 10 years now they were a little like okay you know i'm kind of past all that but for me it wasn't uh necessarily my thing i mean there was some cool stuff in there for sure um the sex practices part and some of the the sexual wellness was 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 interesting like those guided stuff right you know because you're maze masturbation you know the more the self-focused thing but you know right learning to explore yourself and understand yeah, your yeah, own sexuality yeah. yeah yeah but it's more the audio stuff that kind of really got to me the stories right that's what i really liked and it surprised me so the next one is girl on the net an et it's a london based sex blogger she writes explicit sex stories and real life sex stories about feminism porn mental health and fetishes and this is free 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 i don't know how she's got a ton of shit out there i don't know why she's not getting paid as i was saying earlier 
Yeah. It's all free. It's got to be her, her personal blog and she's getting something out of it. I mean, somewhere f for all intent and purpose, we do this podcast for free. Well, yeah, that's true. We, we spend, <laughs> you know, I don't know how many hours producing all the content and recording it and putting mm -hmm. it up there. We spend our own money to host. Mm -hmm. um, it's our hobby. Yeah, it's kind of our hobby. We enjoy it. We enjoy sharing with the community and, and it's my hope, hobby. like putting something out there that people benefit from. Right. Um, so it, it's a little self gratifying from that perspective, but, um, all right. The next one, lustery. Oh my gosh. Uh, gush. gush. Yes. Yeah, gushy, 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 gushy. They have it all. Everything. Literature, poems, short fiction, fiery fantasies, real life, racy renditions, podcasts of all topics, which all these links are going to be provided in our show notes, audio porn for days and videos. And what I love about this site is that, isn't this the one that's all shot in white? Like everything's white. No. So lustry is the one where it's real couples. And oh, that's right. That's right. That's videos. right. I'm getting, see, I'm getting all my sites mixed up. And, and we'll, we'll but talk I about them a little bit more in the but, next episode where we talk about video porn. Yes. But, but they're they, pink and white. They've lustry. got more than just video on yeah. their site, which is super cool. Mm -hmm. And I love it. The real couples. Oh my God. They're super sexy. They're real situations. They're like in their house, in their bed, or they're like having a picnic outside or like. Oh my God. Two women having a picnic outside. Oh Lord. That was hot. And eating peaches. Mm hmm. Mm. It was, it's, it's real. It's not acted. They're like, it's well, don't give away too much from the next episode. Okay. Sorry. Now we're on to Reddit and I had <laughs> Reddit is Reddit like... is deep and wide in terms of <laughs> if you want, <laughs> Oh my carnal God. entertainment reddit has a lot yeah and again for me i was in two rooms called r well it's the lowercase r if you're familiar with reddit but if you're not it's lowercase r backslash or forward slash which one is it Ed? forward forward slash gone wild audio and then the next one is r forward slash Hello talk audio. I'm not sure which one I was in. I think it was gone wild audio. And there's this woman who's a prolific poster of audio, you know, posts who posts a bunch of stuff of her, you know, audio. Oh my God. Quality. Like, yeah, the quality was phenomenal. You could hear every breath, every like just every subtle things you could see, you could hear the, the slapping of the, the dildo against her body as she got squishier and squishier. Oh my God. Right. It was fucking right. hot as hell. I was like, so here I am listening, doing all this research. I'm listening to audio porn while Ed is in the background on a work call. Cause we share an office. Cause I was taking a break from work. I think it was during my lunch hour. I'm sitting there. Shit I put up with. I'm like, saying. I hope he's got the background blurred on his Zoom call because I'm over here almost rubbing one out because this is fucking hot. Right. Right. So great. So you have to check Reddit out. Yeah. And, and Gone Wild Audio is fun because people will post stories for, for free that they mm. want people to narrate. So a lot of times people will pick up stories to narrate and you'll have the people who do the audio recording based on those stories. Um, mm -hmm. so they'll ask for a particular subject or a, you know, a situation kind of a thing, and then they'll find a story for it. And then they'll, the, the another person will pick it up and narrate it. Oh, so, that's nice. Yeah. It's kind of fun. There's a lot of give and take with all that no, the Reddit. I, I would do that. Yeah, it'd be fun. We could do that. Just, okay. We could record some stories. <gasps> that then we skip the whole writing part. B right, right. That can oh. go with the Patreon. I do enough writing. I don't want to write anymore. I know. So, so Reddit in general, um, we alluded to this by saying it was like deep and wide, but the 
there's so much content on Reddit. Um, and, and actually just in general for swingers, there's a whole group about swinging and swingers gone wild yes. and there's regional stuff. Like mm -hmm. there's Northern California swingers groups on Reddit. Um, so we just in general recommend Reddit as a place to go check stuff out and connect absolutely with i mean you've you've got so many people chiming in about their experiences and asking advice and it's yeah. a really really good resource and if you've got a kink there's something on reddit to to scratch that particular itch like yeah you like you like some curvy girls they got curvy girls you, you want have a foot fetish you got the, you you got a goth fetish oh yeah mm -hmm. that's tattoos there's all, kinds of that. all yeah. of it any of it men women you name it's the suicide it's all girls yeah. yeah lots mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so now this the last one is my favorite and I'm surprised at this one <laughs> and, and and I'm surprised because there's a <laughs> massive internet collapse like the whole of this site just basically <laughs> just imploded and disappeared so i'm dying to hear this <laughs> why do you say it like that i don't understand okay so uh a year or two ago i think it was just before covid there was legislation that passed that to stop oh, yeah. human trafficking and basically a lot of sites and materials that had anything to do with sex work or or pornography or erotica mm -hmm. got shut down so craigslist shut down the mm -hmm. the you know looking for people section i can't remember what it's called now it's been so long yeah it uh, never came back well no because it's been legislated out of existence they can't put it back otherwise they potentially would be imprisoned or charged or whatever which is why we have sls and cassidy etc cetera, etc cetera. right well, private sites private but sites. tumblr was was a direct uh victim of this particular legislation too and so people had extensive collections of images and videos and stuff that they collected and mm. all of that stuff had to get shut down wow i had pictures posted up there that i had to had to disappear wow it's all gone poof wow so we've we've given it away or i've given it away tumblr so uh -huh. i'm dying tell me how is tumblr still surviving <laughs> in this erotic audio i yes I, I went to the erotic audio section and here they have sounds of pleasure no words incredibly sexy so you have men and women just making pleasurable sex sounds hmm. for like two to eight minutes so the one i listened to was this woman who you could tell she started off like gently touching herself and mm. so she would be like mm. Mm. Right? The mms and the ahs. Uh, and oh, then, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. How did that go again? <laughs> could, could, you, could you just do that a little longer? I'm almost there. Already? So, I'm so close. <laughs> this would be the clip for the... <laughs> for TikTok. And her experience as, you know, her sounds accelerated as she got closer and you could tell she was touching herself differently right and she mm. became more aroused and the sounds grew and then when she climaxed you could hear the change in her voice so wow. if you are aware of how your voice sounds when you climax that's what she did mm. so it's that <laughs> something like that mm. i tend to um do that and then there's a little more <laughs> and if you're in the right place at the right time you can actually experience phoebe's 
vocal. Uh huh. Ex- mm. Usually it's a lot louder. When I'm by myself, it's quiet unless it's really good. You're trying to hide from me. Uh, yes. If it's really good, then I'll then I'll be like, oh, oh. Mm, God, oh, jeez, oh, yeah. Then I sound more like a dude. But usually it's 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 much more subtle. <laughs> Well, that sounds fun. It was so sexy. I'm going to have to check some of these out. Oh, my God, yes. I know about half of these, and then the other <sighs> half I'm going to have to poke at a little See, bit. See, look, I, you had no idea what I was doing in the background while you were working. Oh, I'm doing all kinds of cool research. You were working, too. Apparently, you were I working, was. working some working. finger things. Okay, phew. All right. To be honest, like I said earlier... I had no idea all these resources were out there. I honestly, I got stuck in a rut too, visiting my favorite porn sites until Maya's Masturbation Month inspired me to look further. Little did I know there are many more ways to get aroused. I am definitely on a new path of self-discovery and with my favorite partner, Ed. I hope you too will be inspired to take the journey with us during May's Masturbation Month.